hello and welcome to today's video and today's video is about this smart LED 36 watt Ampera LED street light and in this video I'm going to go inside and show all the wiring but before we do that I'm going to turn the light on and show it working so I'll just pause the video now in this video I'm also using a standard photo cell and not the smart photo cell that comes with this light as this light would not operate during the day so I'm using a standard photo cell there we go instant startup Another thing that's slightly different, if this had the smart photo selling, which I've shown in other videos, the light comes on dim and then gradually brightens up over about a minute. But with a standard photo cell on, it's instant brightness. Right, what I'm going to do now is show you the top where the photo cell goes, and then we're going to remove the light and then I want to show you the wiring inside. So first thing we're going to do is turn off the power. And remove the photo cell and unclip the light. And to remove these tops, all you have to do is undo the two clips light hinges down and then just releases. Now the reason why I'm showing you the photo cell is because these photo cells, there we go, are designed to have three main connections in the middle and the four outer ones. Bearing in mind the four outer ones are service mounted and there is live 240 mains going to at least one of them. So you don't really want to touch the top of one of these lights without a photo cell on it. Anyway, we'll go inside now and I'll first show you where the wire comes into the light and then I'll show you the inside of the light itself. This is the, um, the part that mounts onto the street light post. And this is the reason why I have this light, because this part is broken. This bolt here shouldn't be here. When this light was being fitted on a post, they over tighten the bolts, which adjusts the angle of the light. And they couldn't take this bolt out and they couldn't do it up. So basically they gave up and just chucked it in the back of the lorry. And when I asked about the old 35 watt low pressure sodium that they had took down, they gave me this one as well. Thank you very much. Well, anyway, the wire comes in through this grommet and the cable holder and goes into this plug. Now on the live side of the plug, bear in mind if this was still connected to a street light, this inset part here is live. The earths stick out and the neutrals are inset as well. And on obviously on the street light side, it's the other way around. In the UK, we have brown live, yellow and green earth, blue neutral. I'm saying that now because inside the light, it gets a little confusing. And then obviously we have an earth that's grounded to the chassis itself. And now we're going to show the inside of the light. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off the tripod first and I'm gonna show you the information on the driver and the information on the surge protector. And then I'll reposition the camera back on the tripod for the actual wiring. Okay, this is the extreme surge protector that's fitted inside the light. I'll show you some of the other wiring as well before we go to the tripod. This is a little sticker Ampera Mini, I'll, I'll put some other information in 
on the comments below what else is written on this sticker. The actual where the wiring comes in, as you can see now, live is either black or red and neutral is either black or white, but we'll get into more detail of that in a minute. And this is the driver. And hopefully you can read that information. I'll hold it there so you can pause it for the model and everything. It says 40 watt on the driver, but I know that this light is actually 36 watts, but you do lose a little bit in the drivers. And then we'll just go to the LEDs. And these are the LEDs. And as you can tell, I'll take, I'll show you a bit closer in a minute. The actual bottom row and the top row have no LEDs in. There's only 16 LEDs in this light. So I gather it's one, two watts per LED, which makes the 32. And that's it. Now I'm going to go back to the tripod now. So uh, bear with me a minute. Right, I'm going to try and explain this the best I can but this could get very complicated very quickly. I'll start with the earth wire. The earth is the middle, yellow and green. It goes into here. It comes out the other side. It goes to the surge protector and then it loops from the surge protector to the driver and then they're both grounded as well. The black live wire comes out of here goes into this cable here and goes to the surge protector and then from the surge protector it comes into this connect block here and goes to the photo cell and then from the photo cell there's either there's the uh, it's, uh, it's either red which comes back to the photo cell and then changes back to a black wire and then goes to the driver and then the driver and this black wire are also connected to the surge protector as well through a little black wire this link here and then the white wire from the driver which goes to here or goes back to the main photo cell connector in here and also to the surge protector as well. The brown wire and the orange wire do absolutely nothing on this lamp. They may do on something else. I've been told that some of these lights have like a sensor that points down so that they can brighten up and dim down it when people or traffic's going underneath them. But this light has the blank but doesn't have anything fitted in it. And the blank is in the base part that's obviously attached to the post. The Now I'm going to go back to the driver now. The driver has a red, a blue, a yellow, a black. And these all go to this connector block here. And then all go to these LEDs, which I'll show again closer in a minute. There also is a purple wire and a black wire. The purple wire goes to this red wire here, which loops back round to the main power supply. And the black wire is connected to the grey wire. So there is a permanent live and a permanent neutral on this side of the driver and a switched live and neutral on this side of the driver. It's a good job this light wasn't in bits because I'd have no idea how to wire this up. I'm not an electrician, my friend is. Well anyway, from here, there is also a second red and black wire which go right, loop around here and go to this connector block. And these are the ones that connect to the photocell on those high pins that I mentioned earlier. So you have a direct 240 mains on this red wire, which then changes color to purple, which is fitted just here. 
on that high pin. So that high pin on the back corner is live. So if there's no photo cell on this light and someone puts their hand on it, they will have a surprise, especially as this light is made of metal. And then the neutral, which is the gray wire, goes back to the connector block, back through the connector block to here, and then back to this thing. And that's about it, really. Now, to get to the LEDs, all you have to do is undo these four bolts here. And then you can remove this cover and you can remove this piece of glass and this will get you to the LEDs inside and as I said the blue and the yellow wire go to the driver as well as the black and the red if this light was an R1 only this middle set of LEDs would be on and fitted so the R1 has eight LEDs the R2 16 LEDs and then I think the R3 has 24 um, this might not be correct though well anyway I hoped you liked this video about this Ampera 32 watt mini street light some parts of the light seem to be made in Holland but I believe the actual frame is made in Spain well, anyway I'm just going to end this video by putting the light back together and then um I'll say thank you for watching. So I'll just pause it one more time. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of this Ampera 32 6 watt LED street light. The street light that replaced the 35 watt low pressure sodiums and the 70 watt high pressure sodiums and some metal halide lights in the county of Leicestershire. I'd like to say thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below. And thanks again for watching. Goodbye.